hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and uh, today this type of glass effect behind the glass the girl is standing and you are taking the photographs uh, without taking the photographs you can make this type of effects in photoshop so today i'll show you this technique if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and as well as the color grading at first going to the file and taking new so taking the print type that is a4 type and hit the create button going to the file and place separate options and insert the stock image or your photo whatever it is and fit with the artboard and hit the tick button and after that right press and resize the layer provide the name of this layer girl and here right press and convert to smart object just because of i want to place any photo in this image and right press here and give this one the red color that means it indicating that the girl and just i'm writing here edit that means you can edit this one in future you can put any kind of photo in this layer so i'll show you this later before that file and place emitter options from here i'll import the glass wet glass effect and just making it like that and hit the tick button okay after that make this one into screen mode and right press and restyle as the layer and press ctrl or command t adjust the glass like this and hit the tick button okay that's fine now time to add some uh, like uh, color grading things in these photographs so select these two things uh, you can make it group and right press and convert to smart object and after that going to the filter and like camera filter that's good and then you can import go to the load settings options and i made a preset for you guys and i'll provide you the portrait this type of effects and hit the ok button before that let's see what is the settings of this so here the settings the exposure 0 0.70 here the highlight minus 7 blacks plus 8 texture plus 65 and here the clarity plus 20 dehaze plus 20 and the vibrance plus 11 that's good from the curves i didn't use that the detailing option i didn't use in a color mixture here i didn't use any color mixture that is the uh, like a normal type color color grading i didn't use optics didn't use geometry effects i didn't use in a calibration portion i didn't use anything so after that hit the ok button you are getting the change in the photo ok now you can add anything in this photograph so from here i am going to the filter and going to the nick collection and color effects pro 4 so i will add another color effects or filter from this nick collection i will provide you the nick collection download link in my video description from here i am using here the cross processing and here the c04 this and hit ok it's taking time to load it up and providing you the final output okay fine and now i'll add another texture going to the file and place embedded options from here uh, many kind of glass effects over here any kind of glass effects or rain effect you can provide from here going to the screen mode and you can put it here and making them like this not too much a little bit so subtle change and from here going to the levels options from here just make the levels like this so save this out give in okay and hit okay and saving this one like jpeg file or format and save this out and hit okay so now that things uh, if you want to use like a uh, different type of photos you can use over there suppose here in a this like a uh, group that means the smart object i'm going to over here and from here this photo just double press in a smart object and uh, just place embedded any kind of photos suppose i want to import another photo when with the place embedded options so from here uh, like uh, this image i want to import making it bigger and place it according to this and hit ok and save it out 
it will save in this photo and then save this out it will provide you the final output so here you are getting the image like that so in this image uh, you need to adjustment a little bit uh, just because of here uh, press ctrl or command t you can make it a little bit bigger so okay in the next window you are getting the effect like that that means the glass effect and saving another jpeg file glass 2 and making it into jpeg and saving it out save it out so you are getting easily way how to make this one and you can make this one smart object to uh, add any kind of photos you don't have to uh, like do the things more again and again and you can just one click over here you can put the any kind of photos if i turn it off if i save it out and it will be the same thing in this photo so again you are getting the image like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out today don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers as well Bye bye